It's time to party! Wait, before I start the party, I think I should go ask Justin, knowing the party dude that he is. Yo, Justin, I want to ask- Get OH MY GOD! Get out of your mind! Get out of your mind! Get out of your mind! What? Fuck that shit! Get out of your mind! Fuck, dude! Come on now! Get out of your mind! What is up my party animals? This is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Neighbors 2 Sorority Rising. Yeah, let's get the party started. And by party I mean really me reviewing the movie. Oh, hell yeah. So Neighbors 2 is directed by Nicholas Stoller. It's written by Nicholas Stoller, Seth Rogen, Evan Goldberg. The film stars Seth Rogen, Rose Byrne, Zac Efron, Dave Franco, Chloe Grace Moretz, and Selena Gomez. And Neighbors 2 is about when Chloe Grace Moretz and a couple of her friends want to start a sorority when Selena Gomez explains to them that sororities aren't allowed to throw parties parties like the females only the fraternity can throw the parties and so Chloe sees it as a sexist thing so because of that her and her own friends they move next door to Seth Rogen and Rose Byrne it is deja vu all over again as Seth Rogen and Rose Byrne they have to deal with chaotic neighbors so who do they get to help them take care of the sorority well they get Zac Efron to help them out this time and honestly I was really looking forward to Neighbors 2 because one I do think Nicholas Stoller is a very talented filmmaker and I really had a lot of fun with Neighbors I thought Neighbors was just a very solid and very well made film it was just a film that made me laugh a lot, that had a very solid script, the cast was great, and it's just a very fun movie to come out during the summertime. And Neighbors 2, I was hoping would be the same way. I had a lot of anticipation, honestly, going into Neighbors 2. After I saw Neighbors 2, one word popped into my mind walking out of my screening. Eh. So yeah, honestly, Neighbors 2 did disappoint me, but... Of course, that doesn't mean there aren't good things in this film, because in my opinion, there are some good things in Neighbors 2. One thing, performances. Now, we have a great cast here, so, you know, there's only so many I can name. Seth Rogen. He is still Seth Rogen. He's still very funny. He's still highly entertaining. He's very enjoyable. I still really enjoy his presence. He has definitely some funny moments in here and I still really enjoy watching Seth Rogen. Rose Byrne, just like in the first film, she does have her time to shine, although I don't think she really had as much shining moments as she did in the first film, but she definitely has at least enough. She was still very solid. Zac Efron, who's back here, but now working with Seth Rogen and Rose Byrne. He was really enjoyable here. And honestly, one of the things I will say about this film is that I did feel like Zac Efron's character actually had the most depth to him. Like, of all the characters in this film, I will say I actually felt the most bad for Zac Efron. Dave Franco, his role, which is obvious, is not as huge as it was in the first film. He only pops up for just a few scenes, but he was still really enjoyable here and you have Chloe Grace Moretz who was one of the new additions to you know Neighbors 2 and I thought she was really enjoyable here there was definitely some heart to her character like she had honestly a pretty personal reason for why she started the sorority and I actually like that the film did that that's one thing I will give the film credit for so yeah I thought she did honestly a pretty solid job here I really enjoyed Chloe Grace Moretz and the same could go to her friends I thought her friends did a very good job acting here. I don't know their names, unfortunately, but they did a very good job as well. Selena Gomez, if you've seen the first trailer, you basically already saw Selena Gomez in this movie. I still really enjoyed Selena Gomez here, you know, at least she was in the film. I just wish she had a big role, but oh well, still nice to see Selena Gomez. And I mean, she is really honestly my main celebrity crush, so I can't really complain about that, right? 
Hannibal Barris, just like in the first Neighbors, honestly, just absolutely hilarious. I really wish there were more scenes with Hannibal Barris, because honestly, whenever he was in this film, he was pretty darn hilarious. As you can expect in a comedy film, there were some funny moments, in my opinion. Some of the humor did really work for me. There are heartwarming moments in this film, like what I said with Zac Efron's character, and then you even get some with Chloe Grace Moretz's character. Really, I would say most of the heartwarming stuff starts to really come in the third act. Like, the third act is where you get the most heart. As far as direction goes, Nicholas Stoller did do a very good job directing the film. That's one thing about his movies, whether you like his movies or not, he always does a very good job directing his movies. And the last positive I will give Neighbors 2 is that it has very good cinematography. But now my problems with Neighbors 2 is that most of the humor unfortunately did not work for me. Most of the humor really falls flat. The execution feels very awkward. It does repeat some of the jokes that you would see in the first Neighbors and it kind of felt like they were shoving it down your throats with most of these gags that are happening like we kind of get the point of the gags and they just try way too hard in my opinion with most of the gags that happen in the film. Storyline I'm surprised wasn't even that good either and that's really unfortunate because I actually thought the script and the original Neighbors was actually very solid. I liked how that was written. And this film, however, while it does have a nice concept of Seth Rogen, Rose Byrne, and Zac Efron going after a sorority, you know, that sounds like a very neat concept, but how they handle the concept, how it was written, unfortunately, it was honestly very underwhelming. They could have done a lot better with the concept. The script isn't bad, and you can tell there was a lot of effort and passion in the script, which I will give Neighbors 2 for. They do try in this film, and I appreciate the effort but unfortunately where they were going with the script in the film didn't necessarily really work out for me that well. When we get to the third act I did feel like the shift in tone of the movie being absolutely wild to all of a sudden just being very heartwarming. I just thought the shift and the tone was very awkward. There is a huge missed opportunity in my opinion where the film could have had more heart focus but instead the movie relies more on having gag after gag after gag instead of being more heartwarming when I think if the film was more heartwarming it could have honestly fleshed out the characters a little more because it's all like the first two acts focus on being chaotic and then all of a sudden the third act that's when they start to all of a sudden just be heartwarming and I just wish there was more of that stuff because really there is most of it with Zac Efron but other than that with everything else, I just felt like there was a missed opportunity for the movie to have more heart to it. The movie does have commentary regarding sexism and how men are superior to women. And honestly, that's something that I do give the film credit, which I thought was nice that they explored that. Unfortunately, because like what I said right now with the film focusing on gag after gag after gag, the message itself doesn't really feel honestly all that powerful. It could have been something pretty powerful and thought provoking, but because the film is more focused on gag after gag, rather than trying to focus on more heart, that's what honestly makes the message feel very meaningless in my opinion. And the last flaw I will say about Neighbors 2 is that the movie has a hard time actually trying to find an ending. It just has three different endings at once and I'm kind of going, okay, is this movie going to end here? Like, oh, it's going to end from here. Oh. Nope, here's another thing that's going to end it. Oh, the movie's going to finally end from here. And then, nope, there's another scene going on. Overall, you guys, Neighbors 2 was honestly a disappointing comedy sequel. It's not a bad comedy sequel. It's definitely not that at all. There are some funny moments. The cast looks like they're having a blast. There's passion that goes into this film. I definitely felt the passion 
from Nicholas Stoller, Seth Rogen, Evan Goldberg, everyone else involved in the film. Unfortunately, most of the gags really do fall flat. The storyline, sadly, was not very well written. And the movie, while trying to have a message about sexism and all those nice things that could have made it thought-provoking, unfortunately, it just comes off as being meaningless in my opinion. Sadly, I'm gonna have to say this, Neighbors 2 Sorority Rising gets two out of four stars from me. I really enjoyed the first Neighbors, but didn't really enjoy Neighbors 2. So you guys in the comments down below, let me know what did you think about Neighbors 2 Sorority Rising. What's your favorite film from Nicholas Stoller? Also, I want to thank Justin Watches Movies for giving me permission to use that clip of him doing his partying. Thank you very much, Justin. Very cool dude. Please check out his channel, you guys. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. I highly recommend his channel. So you guys, this is 22 Tiger Dude partying on. And don't forget that I will always have... Have talk power, yeah. Oh, yeah, and there's nothing in this cup. <laughs>